A federal high court presided over by Justice Anwili Chikere has restrained the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, from deregistering 31 political parties. Justice Chikere, in her ruling in Abuja on Monday, said having failed to counter the application by the applicants, the affected political parties had the legal right which must be protected. In an interlocutory motion between advanced Congress of Democratic Party, ACD, and two others versus the Attorney General of the Federation and another, the applicant had on October 30, 2019, approached the court seeking protection. INEC had earlier on February 6 deregistered 74 political parties for failing to win elections. Joining us via telephone is a former presidential candidate, COA, COA Party, Professor Remy Sonia. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning to you. Well, we hear that one of the main criticisms about this move to register uh, political parties um, is the process uh, which it was conducted. What's your reaction to this? Um, thank you for having me, first of all. The reaction is that um, it was very surprising to have INEC just come out in a press uh, conference and uh, announced the deregistration de 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 of political parties. Um, and to have done it in a way that was not um, seen by the parties as constitutional, because the minimum requirements for the political parties to continue to exist is that they win uh, at least a ward uh, in, in any election. Now, in a case where, as several people have pointed out, we have not even completed the cycle of the elections as yet. We all know that there are still many states where the local government elections have not taken place. So uh, if you block off the parties from participating in those elections, how can you now accuse them of not winning any seat in the, in the elections? And I would even like to uh, inform our uh, listeners that uh, my party, COA party in particular, currently holds a seat in Imo State, and yet we were deregistered among the other uh, political parties. So this, this is the issue. Uh, beyond the local government, we also know that some uh, elections for governorship uh, uh, positions are coming up in, in, in a few states as well. So I next should not have deregistered the political parties before uh, the completing the cycle of election. Um, they, they have done the act, but the court has now come up to say they should stay um, action, even though action has been taken. What are mm -hmm. your options now? Uh, well, as a party, we are involved with all the other parties in discussions. And uh, in fact, there is a substantive case suit in court because uh, the political parties had earlier gone to court to request that INEC be stopped from uh, conducting this deregistration exercise. Uh, my own party, through our acting chairman, Mr. Mark Adebayo, has also written to INEC to bring to their attention our own peculiar situation in the fact that we have a person who won an election on the platform of our party currently in Imo State. Um, other than that, now, what I would imagine is that uh, the better option is for INEC to engage with the political parties to determine the best way to go. 
there is no doubt that having 90 something parties um, in the country, having 70 something parties on a ballot paper, it, 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 it even seems ridiculous, honestly. So the, it, nobody is saying that that is the best state of affairs for the nation. So why don't we sit down together and determine the best course of action so that we don't have this unwieldy system so that which is also extremely wasteful in my own consideration. I, I believe that uh, it might be important also to unbundle INEC so that they are not saddled with more responsibility than they are able to effectively carry out. Because we have seen, at least in some instances, the case of uh, elections canceled at the last minute. Uh, they, they have been overwhelmed by the logistics of conducting elections all around the country. If we need to decentralize the system, why don't we think about it? I, I think these are the options that we need to consider. Okay, I'll say thank you very much for joining us on the news at this time. The decision um, um, by the presiding judge, Justice Awuli Chikere, um, restraining the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, from registering 31 political parties. Um, we just spoke to a former presidential candidate of COA party, uh, Professor Remy Sonaya. Still on that matter, earlier we had a conversation with public affairs analyst uh, Tokwe Fashion. One of the reasons for the criticism for the deregistration of political parties was the process with which that was done. Could you talk to us a bit about that? Right, thank you very much. So um, after the elections, we knew that, okay, maybe something like this would take place. So uh, at some point, INEC actually wrote to the parties and um, they conducted a kind of snap visit. Uh, in that visit, they wanted to know if you still had the requirements for your registration in the first place. Uh, did you have an office? Do you have escorts from 25 states in Nigeria and the federal capital? Do you have, are you keeping your books of account? Do you have a membership register? All that stuff. And so uh, they visited my party, ANRP, uh, on the 3rd of uh, December. So one would expect that, okay, having, having conducted that visit, you would get back to us as INEC, institution to institution, uh, to say, okay, well, we were there, and this were the areas you didn't do well, this were the areas you did well, and all of that. You know, you'd expect that back and forth. None of that happened. So the next Next thing was on the page. I mean, in the network news, we heard that uh, the party had been deregistered. So, well, some, one of I the arguments is, um, that was put forward that you um, did not mention was the fact that some of these parties or all the parties that were deregistered did not um, win seats. Uh, as yeah, stipulated well, that, in the constitution, that's, where does that's, that come that's, in? That's, that's secondary. That's the second issue, of course, in terms of winning elections. But you see, there was an amendment done surreptitiously in 2018 uh, by the uh, APC-led Senate, which said that now, okay, going forward, we would register parties who don't win, uh, you know, at, at a certain level of 25% of but seats that and that make so sense on. to you? But just a second, yeah, before you cut me short, you know. But but the point is that they did not follow the letter of that, of that amendment. The amendment actually does say that when you do the presidential, you check, you do the state, the senate, the or, and you check down to the world level. They didn't wait for that. So 30 states have not conducted world elections in this country, or local government elections. And, and that's the, the part where the government, government touches the people. That is the part where the rubber hits the, where the, where the you know, hits the, the tarmac, you know. And, and therefore, uh, until those elections are con con conducted at the, at the local government level, at the world level, you can't prejudge who's going to scale and who's not going to scale. And, and that's where the